Hi everyone, let's get ready, shall we? So, do not mind my crazy hair. I'm just, I'm just saying it, my hair is always crazy. But yeah, so I figured I would do a get ready with me for one, because I haven't done one in a long time, and two, for more selfish reasons, I figured it would be kind of therapeutic for me to just kind of sit down, chat with you guys, tell you what's been going on in my life. Uh, April was kind of a bleh, crappy month for me. And so I figured I would get a little personal with you guys. So I may not even upload this. Just saying. I just have a bare face. I did cleanse my face. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to start off with my skincare. This is the Glow by Dr. Brent Revitalizing Retinol Eye Cream. I really like this stuff. However, it's super expensive. So I probably won't repurchase it. Next thing, my moisturizer, which I'm super excited about. This is from the Clean Cauldron, and this is her beauty elixir. Uh, I got a package from Viv, the lovely, beautiful, fantastic, selfless, sweetheart Viv uh, from Valor Beauty here on YouTube. She sent me a package of all of her, uh, her Clean Cauldron goodies. It's a new Etsy shop that she just opened. She makes whipped body butters, she makes lip lusters. She's working on this beautiful beauty elixir. And it's fantastic. Like, it's amazing if you have dry skin. It's not up in her shop just yet, because I, I think she's waiting for feedback from her testers. But I'm just saying, this is amazing. And if you guys have dry skin, dull skin, you need this in your life. I'm going to pop on one of her lip lusters as well, because my lips are kind of dry. This is the Purity Lip Luster. And it's this beautiful, almost like a corally kind of red. But, uh, my lips are really pigmented, so it just kind of comes off kind of clear with a hint of color. I really like it, and it smells like, smells like vanilla and coconut. And it's super, do you see that? It's like super glossy. Love it. I'm going to use my primer. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. It's in Brightening Lavender. It looks kind of scary, but it's for those who have a yellow complexion, so it just kind of brightens up your face. But, uh, yeah, my boyfriend got just, you know, the typical physical in the beginning of April. And, uh, you know, he had blood work done. Um, but the doctor had noticed that he had a very, like, solid, like, complexion. Like, gray, almost yellow. And for me, I didn't really notice anything like that. Uh, but, you know, I see him every day. So, maybe that's not something that you would you know, notice right off the bat. He does already have a pale complexion. The doctor, you know, took alarm to that and uh, thought he may be anemic. So they uh, did some further blood work and um, then they called him and said they needed more blood work without really telling us what was going on. So I felt like they were kind of giving us the runaround and we were just waiting for that blood work to come in. Then they wanted further blood work without, again, telling us what what the heck is going on and then finally they said okay come in um, you know we're gonna set up an appointment and just tell you kind of what's going on so the reason why they uh, wanted blood work done well, his anemic uh, anemia test uh, came back negative so he was perfectly fine um, as far as that goes as far as iron deficiency so they checked him for several other things to see if he had any other problems. And everything came back fine, but his blood count was very, very low. Since everything basically that his primary doctor had checked him for was came back just fine, they figured, you know, the best thing to do is uh, go to a specialist. And since this is, you know, this has to do with the blood, um they decided to send him to a oncologist and a immunologist and honestly my heart dropped when I heard the word oncologist because obviously you all you can think about is cancer they assured me you know just not to worry about it you know we just want to take the extra precautions but that's hard you know uh, to not worry about it especially now you know I'm pregnant uh, it's already a stressful time for me and you know, so it's hard not to worry. They sent his blood work to the oncologist. Right now, they are just kind of um, 
going through his blood work and just seeing, you know, what they need to do further test on, what they can eliminate, and vice versa. Uh, I'm going to use my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. It's pretty much just like a waiting game, and I just, I'm a nervous wreck. Like, right now, I have super, super anxiety, and my chest feels like it's just going to pop. They also found out that he had, like, really thin blood as well. I don't know if that has anything to do with, you know, having a little blood count or not, but they did mention that. They said it may be just genetics that he has a little blood count, and it may be that he has, like, an a, uh, immune deficiency that he didn't know about, but that would be really odd because he is someone that never gets sick. Like, me and my daughter can be sick with a cold, and he won't catch it. Like, he's really good about that. And we've been together for, like, nine years, and I think he's only been sick, like, twice, maybe. And just with, like, a simple, a simple cold, like, nothing crazy. So, I don't know. It's just, it's so odd to me. Um, we're just basically waiting for a phone call. Uh, I'm just hoping for the best, really. Thinking a whole bunch of nonsense just honestly makes me not be able to sleep, eat, you name it. Um, I'm going to take the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector. This is in the shade Medium. And just applying this underneath my eyes. Yeah, and also my nausea came back. It just it hit me full force last last month. I don't know if it's, you know, it could be just like stress and everything like that. But it was it was pretty bad. I did uh, I did have an ultrasound, and everything looks great. Um, I've been getting a lot of ultrasounds lately because I have uh, both diabetes and hypertension. A lot of kicking, a lot of kicking. I'm going to uh, use my Jane Iredell lid primer in lemon. It's just like a a yellow base. For the eyes. Yeah, plus, my, my boyfriend is really, really active. And they asked him, you know, is he tired? I mean, he works long hours, so he's how anybody would be if they work long hours. He plays a lot of sports. He's very active. Um, he's always doing something. I'm not familiar with, like, low, low blood counts. I know that um, high blood count means you have, like, uh, an infection that you're fighting off. When I was in high school, I... Um, I did get mono, and my white blood cells were like you know, through the roof. And also when I when I got Lyme disease, the same thing. I'm familiar with that. Not really familiar with having a low blood count. And one thing you do, you know you definitely don't want to go on the internet and research that because it just tells you like a whole bunch of negative stuff, and then you just want to cry. Viv sent me this beautiful green pigment from Silk Naturals. It's called Superfly. And I have a lot of pigments, and I need to um, start using them more. And then Georgia sent me I Love You, which is another beautiful green. It's kind of like a deeper green in comparison. Do you see it? Do you see it? I'm going to take two with this wonderful Sonia Kashuk like, tapered crease brush. I love it. And yeah, I'm just going to apply this like above above the crease area out of you from Silk Naturals. I'm going to apply this on my lid. It's not too light. Like it does have some depth to it. It's actually pretty gorgeous. Super fly. I'm going to kind of um, apply this on top of out of you. Because it has some like um, different color shimmers and I want it to stand out. I'm going to take NYX's herb and just applying a little sort of her onto the crease about halfway. Burned it. And then exotic green. On my outer lid, just to deepen it up a little bit. 
going to line my eyes with this Jordana pencil in Jade Jewel. It's a beautiful green. I'm going to take Exotic Green again onto my lower lash line. I think I still need something though, like in my inner corner. I'm going to take Breezer's White Lighter, which is this beautiful, you can see that there. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a buttery yellow. It's really pretty. I have a new mascara that I'm excited to use that um, my friend Christy here on YouTube. If I mention anybody, I will leave their channel down below. But she sent me two mascaras from Mexico, and I'm super excited. They have Spanish names. Uh, one is called Maximo Volumen. This is my lack, my lack of Spanish. And this one is Alopel Mascara para Pestaña de Baba de Caracol. So I don't know if this is volumizing or lengthening, but I know for sure that this one is volumizing. I think I'm going to go with this one today. This is my first time trying this, so I'm really excited. These are natural mascaras, by the way. Look at this wand. I like this mascara. It has a, a very dry consistency, which I actually really like, so it doesn't weigh down my lashes. I'm going to put this one on top, see what happens. So, let's see. Oh, this one has a more, uh, a more thinner consistency. Filled my eyebrows just to save some time, and I really didn't make, like, a fake arch or anything. I just kind of kept it simple. Following my original shape. First of all, are these brushes not, like, amazing? They're from Sony Kashuk. They're a limited edition. I love them. They're like the perfect, perfect face brushes. I'm going to use the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil bronzer to contour a little bit this, with this little contour brush. It's so cute. For blush, I'm going to go with a peachy one because I love peachy blushes with a green eye. I just think it looks, it looks fabulous. So yes, it makes it look more tropical. I don't know. That's just me. I also have been um, fully dedicated to <laughs> teaching my daughter how to use the potty. And that is a struggle. Daily struggle. Just saying. And a lot of people that I know, they say that um, girls are harder to potty train. I'm not going to argue with them with that. Because, yes, it's very difficult. And my daughter's excuse is that she's scared of the toilet yeah she thinks that it's going to swallow her alive or something so uh, she's getting the hang of it but it's a struggle that's all I'm gonna say for highlight I'm gonna use the Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer it's beautiful it's gold so I'm going with that since I have like a peachy peachy corally blush and this dries really really fast so you have to be like speedy going lost and just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I've been actually setting my under eyes with a blush. This is from Hourglass. It's the Ambient Lighting Blush in Ethereal Glow. It looks like this, and it basically looks white. I got this actually from a friend um, for my birthday, and it is very light. does not work with my complexion for a blush, but I made it work. I love it for a setting powder underneath my eyes. It just gives me this amazing glow. For lips, I'm going to use this beautiful lipstick from NYX. This is in Margarita. This is going to make it into my April favorites because I can't live without it. It's so pretty. I'm going to top it off with a gloss. This is Wet n Wild Mega Slicks in 566. I don't know the actual name, but it is like this really pretty uh, peachy coral. So, this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, I wasn't as chatty as I would have liked to have been. Um, my mind is just like scrambled eggs. I have five million things going on. I will leave you with the name reveal of my baby. Uh, we decided to call her Luna Snow. So you guys can tell me how you feel about that. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys to pieces. Bye.